Hi everybody and welcome to another video brought to you by plcgurus.net. So today what we're going to look at is I have created a, an AOI instruction that's going to take an integer value and then output that integer value in a hexadecimal string format. So if, if you ever tried to do this, uh, you'll know that there isn't a single instruction in the controller that will do that for you. Um, so there's a bit of heavy lifting to do. Well, not really heavy lifting, but a little bit of work involved uh, in order to get that result. So what I've gone ahead and done is provided an AOI instruction that will actually do that. And you can head right over to plcgurus.net and download that AOI instruction. So I'm assuming I've already gone ahead and downloaded it from the plcgurus.net here. And it should be in my downloads folder. And I've gone ahead and extracted the zip file here. Okay. So you'll see there is the L5X file that we're going to need to import into our little test application just so we can, I can actually demonstrate the functionality of the AOI itself. Okay, so we can just close that. So the first thing, so you can see I'm just using an emulator. And if you've been watching along uh, in our Studio 5000 Essentials video series, you'll know that we've been using an emulator uh, to simulate the, uh, physical hardware all along that video series as well. Okay, so to go ahead and get started, I'm just going to go up to the file menu and I'm going to go import component. And the first option there is add on instruction. So I'm going to choose that and it's going to want to bring me to the add on. So I'm just going to double click that and I'm going to go ahead and double click the L5X file. So that's going to go ahead and import the AOI, the integer to hex string AOI that I've created for you. Okay. So you'll go ahead and do that. Just click OK here and it's going to go ahead and add that AOI into your project now. So you can see there it is. Okay. Now the next thing to do is to test it. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is head on over to the main program, main routine. And you'll notice here that I have set up some logic in order to test this uh, into hexadecimal string conversion AOI. Okay, so I haven't actually added the AOI yet because I want to walk you through that, which is very straightforward. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a new rung and notice now on the add ons tab, the into hex string AOI is in the list. So you're simply going to click that. And just like any other instruction, you're going to have to give it a, a new tag name. I'm going to call it my uh, int to hex string AOI. Why not? Click create. And now I have to give it a source. So it is looking for an integer source here. And we're going to use the int value that we're actually going to be using here. And the next thing we want to do is provide a new tag for the converted hexadecimal string value. Now notice the data type it knows it's smart enough to know that it has to be a string and I'm going to call it int as string and that's it. So that's all we have to do to implement this AOI and this is not, there's a little bit there's quite a bit of logic built into this thing to actually achieve this. You think they'd have one already for you, but they don't. But of course, you can go ahead and download yours from plcgurus.net and I will include a link in the comment section below. All right, so let's go ahead and just save that. And because my path to the emulator is already defined, I can just go over here and click the download button. And we're gonna download yes. Run mode yes. Okay, and then one other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the view, the watch window, so we can take a look inside the tag database at the integer value and the integer as string values as they're being populated and pushed through the add on instruction here. So the last thing we have to do to start this test is just toggle this start test bit and watch the values come in. So notice now we have a three value. Of course, three, the hexadecimal equivalent of three is three and six. Now we're nine. Now we should get a little more interesting. So 12 is C, which is correct. And this is going to carry on and give you a correct implementation or a correct conversion of an integer value to a hexadecimal string value. And again, this is very useful and I have used this instruction in production environments. When you want to enunciate on an HMI things like hexadecimal codes, if that's the way they're represented in your user manuals. 
So I hope you found this video informative. Please subscribe to our channel. Head on over to plcgurus.net and download your AOI today. And thank you for watching.